And, and the people watching the VODs. So, yeah. what's up? Yeah, welcome. And we are going to head on to our second series. Now, this is possibly uh, one of the more, I guess, anticipated series. Because I okay, Well, okay, I'm going to spoil it. I'll wait until... Let's move on to the overlay and let's have a look at who's going to be playing. And then I'll spoil it. Okay. So, as you can see... It's going to be IRK versus Clan Revolution. Now, they were in the same group in round one. Uh, they did face off against each other. Rev did lose to IRK, uh, but afterwards they did play each other in the IRK Red Revolution, the uh, Age Warrior, an incomplete setup, which I casted, which was a lot of fun. Uh, but IRK did an incredible job in round one. They came second overall uh, with six wins, three losses in matches. So they played nine matches overall. And uh, all of their players did a really, really good job, but they did, unfortunately, uh, lose their first week of round two. Yeah, I did not expect that. I, well, I also didn't expect them coming in second last season. That was that was pretty surprising for me. Um, for for considering that there's you know two non-Korean or two Korean clans in here, I uh, was really surprised. I RK did super well. Uh, but uh, yeah, not starting off on uh, a great foot. But it's okay because their opponents also didn't uh, win their first round map. So, you know, I guess that's kind of going to even it up, right? Yeah, Rev didn't make it to the playoffs. RK did beat Soul and White to make it to the playoffs. But Rev, a fairly good team. Uh, they did very well. They just had some very, very strong opponents in Group B last time. And they're going to be looking to in Group A this time. Uh, see if they can put a dent on the tournament. See if they can make it to the playoffs. This is, of course, week two of seven. And we are going to move on to just explain what maps we're going to see in terms of who is going to be playing on them. So let me move on over to that screen. That's the wrong screen. It's going to be set one is Return of the King, set two, Flight Dreamliner, set three, Troy, set four, Triathlon, and set five, New Sniper Ridge. And we are going to see a ZVT between Jerry and Kettle. A PvP between Oyaji and Narsil, a ZVP between Norgrim and Caspus, who is the incredibly generous guy who is constantly donating to every tournament under the sun, and uh, a PvZ between DeWalt and Scab. Now, just looking at the rosters, you would say that IRK has a little bit of an edge here. Yeah, uh, by far. I mean, Nogrim and DeWalt. Uh, Nogrim's, like, pretty good, but DeWalt is, like, super, super good. So, uh, I mean, anytime I see him in any tournament, I'm always just like, wow, this uh, guy could definitely uh, win that. Uh, any, you know, uh, non-Korean tournament. And even in tournaments that do have Koreans, like, uh, have at you, I think he was uh, second place, third place, something like that. So, yeah, super, super good. So, I, I mean, he's one of the reasons, definitely, that... IRK has done super well. Don't sleep on Oyaji either. I think we saw him do really well before. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't kept up super well with his uh, performances. But uh, yeah, for, for Revolution, uh, I don't know what to expect. I, I also don't know why DeWalt and Scab are playing so late because I think they're you know some of the best players on their respective teams. Um, so ideally, if it's a best of five, then you kind of want your good players playing early to ensure that you get to the later rounds. But I mean, it's not my decision. Yeah, it's a weird tactical decision you can make. Now, one thing we actually saw, I believe it was Naz, they put, well, I can't remember who exactly it was, a team last season, uh, last round even, put their best player up four, and they lost the first three games, unfortunately. So uh, they were out of the running for the ace match. But let's introduce our players here. I know it's on the screen, but let's have a look at their stats from round one. And uh, Kettle, uh, we'll find out, doesn't have any. But let's move on over and let's get ready to start the game. Okay, so as we look at the players here, that hasn't updated, so I need to generate that. Go back again, there we go. Uh, fighting for IRK, we do have Jerry. He did go two for one in round one. He played some incredibly good games. He did lose. Uh, the only game he lost was actually a ZBT. So this is going to be his chance, a little bit of redemption. Uh, I believe he actually won a ZBT and a ZVP last time. So uh, pretty well-rounded. Uh, he'll see how he does here. And Kettle, his opponent is a Terran player. He's new to Rev. Uh, they did have a lineup entirely consisting of Protoss and Zerg last round, so cool to see a Terran in, and it'll be cool to see how he does as we move on to our map here, which is going to be Return of the King. And uh, now Return of the King, a very fun map from the 2008 Incorrect OSL, uh, famously used in the Fancy vs. Stork finals that did get me into the game. Now Fancy did lose those finals. Spoilers. 
uh, anyone living in 2008. I do apologize. Dude, it's, it's been 10 years, man. You don't have to give a spoiler alert since your yeah. favorite player lost. But what about what about the people watching from 2008, those time travelers, man? Like, I've just ruined uh, it for I, them. I heard this... Uh, uh, go ahead and start the game, then I can talk yeah. about this during the early game. Okay, let's move on to the game, and let's introduce our players and positions, and let's get going. Okay, so starting us off this time, in the top right-hand position, we do have the blue Zerg, it's going to be Jerry. Yep, and his opponent on the bottom right-hand cor corner, in the green, is the Terran player for Rev, Kettle. It is indeed. Now, if you want to talk about that thing you were going to talk about, that'd be oh, great. Oh yeah, you mentioned, uh, you know, players from... 2008 not being spoiled, so giving them the uh, retroactive uh, spoiler alert. Um, uh, some dumb Twitter account tweeted that, you know, if you uh, ever want to know how driven you are, uh, try to make a time machine. And if you, you don't come back from the future, uh, it, then you know that you weren't trying hard enough. I'm like, oh, uh, I never really thought about that, thought about it that way. But yeah, uh, but the trouble is, I'm you sure that. You can't mm -hmm. meet yourself because you'll create a grandfather paradox, so... No, okay, so I, I, there's, that is also not true, because when you do meet yourself, it depends on the kind of interaction that you, you, uh, you have, and if you're prepared, uh, to meet yourself. Like, if it's just, like, purely accidental, and you react, like, super crazily, like everybody does in all the movies, then, okay, well, you, you know, you're gonna screw some stuff up, but, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure that's guaranteed kicks. It, it is one of those interesting things, though, because if I think about time travel, I really say to myself, do I really want to risk going back in the past, or do I just go really far in the future and then like live this super cool future life? Because you can really mess things up going back in time. Yeah, but like to be honest, you can mess things up going forward in time either, and you can actually just mess things up living your daily life. So Kix, you know, I don't really know what's too bad about that. Could you really mess something up in the future, though? Because if you go forward in time, one would assume that you're just making time on Earth speed up while you just sit there Kicks or something. somebody that messes things up on the daily, uh, I can assure you that at all points in time, that's definitely possible. That is a, a very, very good point. I also mess thing, a lot of things up as well. So, you know what, maybe neither of us should be time travelers. I'm going to stick to being subpar at commentary. I don't know about you. Yeah, that's that seems like a good idea, if I'm being honest. Now, interestingly, Kettler's going for a wall off here. He's gone for gas as well. Uh, this could be for two-port race. It could just be for a factory. Uh, mech very strong on this map. Uh, but the drone doing a very good job just getting in the way of this supply depot, as he does have Lings moving across the map. Yeah, these are, uh, I mean, not incredibly early lings but there are quite a few i mean it's the first six so um he's you know not stopping anytime soon by the way there's two more on the way and uh this is going to require maybe a couple of scvs to be pulled to block um it's not like there's a bunker or anything if he wants to start one i guess that would be like pretty okay but he's not going to have his build interrupted too much the lings are actually going to kill off the first oh marine, dear. Though, so that's not good. And this isn't a tight wall either. That's a zealot tight wall, not a oh, link tight no. wall. Here we go. The link's getting in. The factory gonna be oh, in no. danger. Oh no. Oh no. Kicks. Start. Work on my alphabet with me. Oh no. G G G G G G G. Uh. Oh boy. This is so bad for uh, Cat Wall. He's his marines are gonna be stat like spawning on the outside of the wall, unable to get back what? into his own base. And this is certainly like, going to be You know that's going to happen, too. Like, you know that barracks placement spawns Marines on the outside of the wall. Uh, I guess you should just swap it with the barracks? Uh, wow, that is... Uh, that was you know, a I quick the game. Coming across. And, you know, I, I was like, okay, well, the links aren't all clumped up. They're going to come in two by two. Eh, it's not too bad, right? But then the Marine pops out on the outside of the wall and just insta-dies to the first two links. And you're like, oh... Well, that's just not very good. Uh, okay, wow, that was a 3 minute 48 second game. Yep, that's certainly one of the quickest games we've had in the o uh, the OSL. I'm ahead of myself here. Uh, the uh, the SCPL, unfortunately, but you know what? It was a it was a cool game, Cat. Unfortunately, getting a little bit caught off guard by that all in by Jerry. 
And unfortunately for him in that position, with that wall, you cannot make a link type wall. I think you have to build the barracks in the bottom right and then go from there. But uh, that's just one of the many things that can happen sometimes in the game.